Next question. Is there an association between a level of education and gender? Level of education and... It's like we got one through six here. Now this could be a an ordinal variable. You can use ordinal variables in the chi-squared test if you want. Or nominal variables. It, I don't think it really makes a big deal, but let's keep going. So we got six different levels of education. And gender, we already know. We got three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to look for hidden associations between level of education and gender. If there are any, we're going to go to analyze, descriptives, cross tabs. We're going to reset. Beep. And this time I want level of education and gender. Statistics, I want the chi-squared test. Yes, yes, yes. I want the phi and the Kramer's V. Yes, yes, yes. And I want the expected cells, if the null were true, and the standardized residuals that'll tell me if there, there is a significant difference where it lays. So that significant standard residual should be anywhere between, depends on what your sample size is, but anything like 1.6 or above can be a good indicator of where the null is not true. Okay, so let's hit continue. Let's hit okay. And let us interpret. So again, 250 people in the sample. And I see 1.3 and negative 1.5. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, the residuals. There's one. So the other gender that have a high school diploma, they were expecting about 7.7. .7, but in reality, there's only two. So it looks like there could be some significant associations in there. But let's do the, the SPSS do the talking, and it did. Yay! So this one says there was a significant association somewhere between the three genders and the six levels of education, right? There's your p-values, less than 0.05. And your Kramer's V is 0.291. I'm sorry, your, yeah, your phi is 0.291. Your Kramer's V is, is 0.206. And again, think of these as, as effect size and everything is significant. So I'm going to find just the highest residual. There's 1.8. Do I got anything higher than a 1.8? 1.8. No, 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 no. Oh, there's one. Okay. That's the one I already stated, right? They expected 7.7 .7 of the other genders to have a high school degree, and only two of them did. Okay, so that was a surprise. Here's another one down here. Let's do the 1.8 and see what that's looking at. Uh, 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 this one. So they're expecting the males. They expected 11 of them to have a college, some college. And in actuality, they had 17. So they had a lot more than expected, about 50% more than expected. But that's how you, that's how you read these things. MGZ, out.